live time to kick off today's stream um, today we're gonna be working on some of the um, FPV tips features let's see I think we need to do some <coughs> some content work today actually so maybe not a very coding heavy session but rather refining and fixing some issues as we're preparing for the launch next not next week but like in 10 days let's see let's see what we have here first also I'd like to see Oh wow, okay. Cool. So here is our build. Here is our project. <coughs> um announcement some of the current progress is that the right font? Uh, Seagull UI, okay, it is how to get involved section we did that a bit earlier this section is kinda done with what is FPV and what we're gonna work on now is these next few sections which need content and proper backgrounds and whatnot which is currently not gonna cut it before that, a cheeky little fix. Um, if we have a look at mobile version of the site, I noticed an issue earlier. Yep, that's the one right here. We're supposed to have like these proper proper spacings, and I guess we technically have it. But because when sections have backgrounds, they don't like fully extend to the ends of the container so this is something we would need to um, resolve somehow um, maybe the, the easiest cheeky little fix for the time being would be to just apply a negative margin hack um, because if I have padding then things are really not gonna offset the negative mar margin should, should help get it fixed uh, on the x-axis so um, kinda not sure um, oh no um, this one let me check something real quick So what what happened here? Why didn't it wanna? Top and bottom is the first value, so no on the top and bottom, only on the left and right. So that's gonna have to do it. Now, of course, that fixes the problem in the background, but it doesn't fix the problem with the uh, um, padding, which we're also going to resolve. Curious to see the exact value, but it seems like it is actually 15 pixels. I think it's 15, it could be also 16. Um. Let's 
go with 16 anyway and then let's do padding X oh yeah top and bottom 0 oh well actually I already have padding but anyway um, initial or inherit um, I wonder if I can I don't know if I can block those uh, sounds because uh, I'm gonna get a few of those as we progress we have some some things going on in the background which are gonna get cleared off soon mm. Writing initial 16. That's not a legal. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to do a, not a shortcut here. Mm, just to figure out what the padding on this guy is. Padding one rem. So, I'm getting distracted here with messages, um, but kind of a poor timing that it had to happen now, but anyway, it's not like anybody's watching, so it can definitely <laughs> take care of the messages.
So, stream of me dealing with messages. How fun. Anywho, um, we did now see the the fix here that we need to now apply across the board. So, um, kind of wondering if kind of wondering if that's the approach I want to have, but. <clears throat> Because if I apply the same thing to to um, this section here, what we're gonna get is more or less the same result. More or less the same result. Um, with nice offset padding. Yeah, we could do that. Let's just do that. Um, the section. First of all, what does this guy want from me? I don't know. Don't save. Sections live here. By default, they have this padding, but we could actually swap this out for this, for the following. So instead of that, um, we're going to do that. And instead of that margin, we're going to do that. And that's a bit about it. And that should get applied across the board. And cater to both both issues to help with the backgrounds being full width as well as have some uh, offsets on the text anyway. Nevertheless, so yeah, that's that's gonna have to do it for this guy. Wow, YouTube are definitely improving the look look and feel of the <laughs> their uh, embedded video default defaults um anywho let's get out of device mode and let's zoom out to some more bearable extents <coughs> and have a look at what we should do next This is going to be the silent stream. Anyway, what happened this stream? Too too much too many distractions with <coughs> with messages. Um, 
so this portion is kinda kinda alright uh, one thing I wanted to see is this here keeping aspect ratio I'm not gonna be bike shedding over that thing and then we have here video links so the next few portions of content are coming here from this guy and um, you have a few choices what to work on uh, let's see what is FPV sure why do it because hmm. the the goal, the goal here of this section is to try to answer some questions. So, um, say, say somebody who has no idea what FPV really is um, comes here. We just want to help educate people. We just want to help uh, show people how cool the hobby is and stuff. So, I think some of those sections should be dealing with that. So. Why do it? Why are you saying, hey, who is this for? I don't know. It's kind of like this should be like simple, cheeky little questions. So let's see what we can do. They don't need to be like anything too descriptive or too long. Um, it's more about in this case I want to say more about um, these backgrounds I want to get rid of these nasty colors and actually have something nice um, Tips fit in. Let me see. Because the map is kind of like so. Some things still need improvements, sure, but it's gonna have to cut it. The blog is kind of like so. Dictionary blog is fine. Map, sure. Map doesn't have any animations. Home. I'm thinking I'm gonna drop all the animations except for these guys here. Mm -hmm. Wonder if that's a minor thing that I wanna really remove now, but I think I wanna. It's a bit annoying, especially multiple times in between pages. From how to get involved onwards. Um, which is basically the first section. So we get um, here to the sections. Start featuring it. Here are the sections, homepage sections. Um, don't wrap those in fades and move the key away something like that and then no more fades actually there's just no more fades period mm. that's already quite a lot better if we go back home We'll see about the rest of the animations. We might remove also some of those, but it's still too early to say at this point.
content styles. Kind of wondering. I'm just not very sure what would be here the idea of design. So I'm kind of gonna get rid of those colors because I find them a little bit distracting right now. Da -da -da -da. Color. No, oh, that's just the gray anyway, so that that's kind of fine. And then this is the pattern one, and the, the way we're gonna deal with the pattern one is we can try to make um, here this side. Some backgrounds. Some SVG generated backgrounds. I think some of the shapes are pretty cool. Like this is kind of kind of cool, and you can change the scale, the opacity. The colors, obviously. Um, and then you can grab an SVG. Alternative arrowhead. Let's drop this into static for now. And we're gonna call it BG Altern alternating arrowhead as such and then um doesn't really matter but this is now using it obviously the pattern is like way 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 too big so if anything we need to actually reduce it quite a lot Let's get the new file in. I don't know. Um, I was kind of going for very subtle backgrounds, like very, very subtle backgrounds, because even this is not subtle enough to actually use it. Unless I do use it in on a, uh, a few sections together, say these next few sections. have a feeling it should be even more vague but I also don't want to waste way too much time and we could have one more pattern These are too regular. I kind of want something that looks a bit more irregular. 
as a pattern. Mm. Trying with these earlier also don't line up too nicely. E this is out of topic. Mm, I don't know, maybe too strongish. Maybe maybe this with different colors. Yeah, maybe this with different colors. Um, our blue color in particular is this one. Let me see. This one in particular. So if we drop it in here, it's already kind of cool. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, okay, the scale. Um, we definitely want like very, very zoomed out. Probably even something as small as this much. And as for the opacity, let's give it a shot to this one. And let's give a shot to. Um, This one. So two variations of the same thing. Protruding squares one and squares two. Let's test it here. Mm, not too shabby, I would say. I mean, I don't want to have like a super image heavy site or anything, but. Clarity here is okay, although this could benefit from some sort of excitement in the background with some very vague background. We can check that out later. But then um, here we could go for something like that. This is gonna be something else, and then um, and then here something else. This is coming on too strong. And this is way too vague. But it could be a good candidate to this section, much more drown drowned out, but still. Way too busy and colorful. So definitely not. Not in that color. Some sort of a gray color. Just for the texture. This I almost like. This I almost like. <sighs> mm. 
the main wrapper is done yeah and then this guy um, this is big in for a fix anyway well, let's 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 copy that the other thing is I don't need to download images per se I can just download the SVG style just as, as such so let, let's test that this portion of the code is in here the top of the page uh, the helmet where we have a grid and this chunk and current progress and Technically, we can we could create a start component. It's probably better. And then that's gonna encompass this plus the progress all the way to the sections all the way to here mm, possibly even the heading here is the strings here is one start component here is that feature list let's keep them in order so as my cards feature list here is going to be const intro it's going to be a styled div which is going to have this um, ugly little nugget and another thing is that um, it would be nice to Check the license. Uh, so you can mention the creator. Cool. So that solves that section. And again, we can kind of change that background. Not completely convinced that is the best but it does add some texture to the page and it's better than the plain otherwise color so it doesn't change too much it also doesn't affect readability too much so that's that's a very good little bonus so now our intro section however for the intro section and Hmm. That rubber is really kind of going to but anyway let's leave it at, at that. However this guy would require some padding fixes where we wanna do Definitely not. And in any way, let's look at the mobile stuff because we're designing mobile first anyway, so... Um, if we do have this type of a background, we do want to apply
He's in pawn, nice actually. I kinda like it. Padding one, margin one, just call it. I knew that <laughs> it was a bit uh, too good to be true. I think the solution is similar to the other thing we did for the section. But this time, um, we don't really care to do um, here more than one, maybe even zero. There's still. I don't understand where does it end. Does it end here? Um, yeah, technically here. Oh, you can do that nowadays? No, I did not know that. Now we're back to score one, like how, how did that not work? Anywho, um, this is gonna have to cut it for this section. We can change that background later on. I'm not like too hung, hung up on it or anything, but it is maybe a bit better with some texture in the background, just at least a little bit. And we don't need to cover all the sections with those. That's that's totally fine to have sections that don't have anything. But that's definitely one of the backgrounds. Hmm. I also don't want to waste too much time dealing with the backgrounds per se and I wanna be able to wrap up all that copy today so let's focus a little bit on that why do it selling points for FPV so many I'm not a natural copywriter so that's why it's a bit hard for me but I don't know Why do it and who is this for? I'm gonna join those together.
I'm not sure if I'm able to. <laughs> Anyway, that, that's probably gonna be... The readability here is not very, very good, I have to say. I don't want to spend too much time on another texture, but... And I wonder if I can tweak the code for this one. Um, if I just tweak the fill opacity to something even higher, or actually even lower, like 5, 3, seriously? I kind of wonder if I'm doing something. Oh, I am doing something. Yeah, it's almost disappearing. But it's also really bringing up the text in the front left. Um, again, could be changed. Anyway, well, let's not bike shit over it. I also want to make the heading a little bit more literal. So, why not do it? But why fly FPV and who? Is this for? I think that's that's kind of cool. Um, where does FPV tips fit in? I think I think I can delete here the empty parameters, clean up the code a little bit. Where does FPV tips? Um, should we do caps here? I don't like it, nah, but it does look a little bit better here. Uh, where does FPV tips fit in? That's maybe like a little bit too pushy, but it's kind of like every tips once.
and then we need to be consistent because we use caps all across so now we need to use caps just as well here also I noticed that I said nice to find easily um, it would be nice to have a place to search okay all right we can kind of work with it let's see what we have where is every tips fit in um, blah 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 I don't want to like boggle down with way too much text either way so um, and also let's break down into another paragraph at this point and the way we do that is when I designed this component and what it takes I can actually maybe show that real quick it takes an array of strings so um, the section component um, when we extract content from props and we're mapping over content we're basically using the different chunks or the different um, strings that are array to render the content and have a paragraph for each with some like style calculation here mm, let's see so there's our paragraph um, if people want to read whatever I think it's yeah we don't need like way too much stuff and then at the end um, I kind of like that we could have like a nice background or whatever make it a bit more exciting here let's see and this part here is just like an introductory part I'm not sure I don't necessarily like um, die to put it in here but it actually could be cool um, Twitter info ping. Um, I wonder fetching Twitter information. Um, who has done? Can I see an example of somebody who has done some sort of a? Because I have two two ways to go about this one. I could. try to embed some Twitter information or I could just have like some text and stuff in a picture or whatever mm -hmm. probably gonna do the latter and if I have to be frank again my focus is on the on the um, site anyway on the main functionality so I don't wanna waste way too much time on it so we could easily use a, a mix between uh, this description well actually here we have the image source so let's just actually grab the image comes from uh, github the github profile anyway from this or from this sort of a cheeky actually i could kind of like import some of that stuff i kind of like it maybe we can make it work um then one of those two or then Twitter I don't even know let me have a look here in another tab because I think I'm logged in now with another account on Twitter but if we have a look the, the explanation is not that far fetched so let's go for something simple this doesn't really tell a whole lot but yeah, something like that cool let's see let's work on that section then um, The video here is a self-playing video. I think it's an MP4, so it's not a link to a YouTube video or anything. It's like a local one. If I would like to do that, and I kind of think I do, because it's not that much about putting something about me as much as it's about giving it a human aspect, making people realize that okay, there's a human being behind this this site, and you know, I'm just a FPV pilot and I'm working on this thing, and that's all. 
so anybody can um, and if I can fly you most certainly can fly so we need to communicate that message efficiently uh, these chunks are cool and here is like the full hook of a video so to speak as well as these links to these pirate pirates pilots <laughs> pilots channels um, Mm -hmm. Let's see. <coughs> Here we're not gonna use this sort of an API from this type of content because we're gonna have too many uh, additional requirements. We need an image, we might need the video. So, um, yeah, actually, I think we're done with the sections because, yeah. Yeah, I think we're done in the section. Yeah. The let's fly to get a bird. Um I don't like these blue bricks so I can drop those off. This thing I kinda like. Um so I'm gonna put some placeholders right in here somewhere. If you wanna get involved though, kinda like here. Placeholders div and then uh, that section now we're gonna work on. Title, sure. I can cut these things, get rid of that arrow head. Oh yeah, I almost completely forgot about that background. That's a good background, it's quite subtle. Color background color, remove this trailing comma. And I think that portion of the section is done. Uh, in our placeholders here, I'm gonna drop another placeholder. Oh, like that those are not just placeholders here so we're gonna work on those and remove them um, and this part here if you want to get involved get in touch check your project plan submit uh, I mean sure sure I'm not a very big fan of the well many things here but we can't also bike shed into oblivion, so we need to move on. Um, I think the overall rhythm is pretty okay. Yeah. So, in, um, not intro, but like profile uh, section? What do you call it? Bi bio? B bio? What do you call it? Yeah, some sort of a bio section. Let's call it bio. And it could be a div, whatever. And because we want to apply some things, this is going to be a default thing. So let's wrap this with a bio. Or a bio. Uh, let's put it here.
until further notice this section is not gonna be reused so if we need, ever need to reuse it then we're gonna extract it for now we're just gonna have it here um, for the better part the structure can be something similar to this sort of implementation um, we just have an h3 at the top and then some paragraphs videos and whatnot so h3 this is the guy that contains this part just like a friendly greeting and I did say h3 cool then we're probably gonna have a paragraph of descriptive text And then we're going to have an image and possibly a video. And the source of the image is going to be that source that we copied earlier. which obviously needs some sizing and whatnot it's like utterly ugly um, and then the video underneath I think I'm gonna bring this video in also this description is I might actually open that project and just try to bring that whole thing in because I think it's kinda accurate and to the point is that project it's another Gatsby project um, this comes into the about page and that's the intro component so e intro video wrapper we can easily take pretty much almost all of that thing very easily and bring it in. Wonder if I can also link to a MP4 video hosted elsewhere, but I'm not sure about that. We can try. Either way, in that paragraph, there's a bunch of links. I'm not very sure if it's legal to have images in a paragraph, but let's look past that. That's, that's too much. Do like the text.
why would it not be able to be reached? That was weird. That's better. Um, I don't. I'm not a fan of those links being that big and that comes here from this section. Um, they were bumped on purpose in general, unless told otherwise, because they differentiate from the rest of the text. Because this is 1M, and then this all of a sudden is. 1.2. And even fix that, of course. correctly um, yeah I think the blog is the relevant part and that this part. And just bring it in and then we're gonna edit it out. It's actually some parts of that are actually much more relevant. Oh yeah, to the content than the rest of them. In section we can see how the implementation for the character based with is done and basically it says to all the paragraphs um, have something along those lines. So we could easily apply that in the bio. Bring things in order at least a little bit. So help a little bit. Some of the alignment. Um, another thing we're gonna bring in is the padding for that section. So top and bottom will actually be three. 
I think even three and a half if I'm not mistaken. Three and a half. So pretty much like a section, we could pretty much almost bring in the section and um, extend on that to use the styles, but then I don't want the rest of the functionality to come through. So even though we're duplicating code a little bit, it's still more readable that way and whatnot. Need to reduce the size of that image, the size of those links. And working on uh, where here where I say and working on fpvtips.com. No need for a self link. That's just weird. Working on fpvtips. Um, then I said links within the component should be normal, which means font size of 1 rm, normal 1. I wonder if I need to restart the server because it starts to become a little bit sluggish. I don't know if that's a thing, but it doesn't hurt to check. So the page refresh is quite slow. I mean, I don't think I have memory issues. But yeah, anyway, this is no normal font. Um, this is kind of okay. Before that, I maintain a block part. We can easily. I don't care what that is. We can I maintain. It. I also maintain a blog two break lines here. Where are right now? Blah blah blah. That's a cheeky little intro. The padding are cool. The image needs sizing. We could probably use some absolute values, but let's try with five rims. is kind of fun, kind of cool. Um, I was actually thinking to move this to use grid to move it left and to do some fancy shenanigans but just taking a look at it right now it seems like that's gonna cut it. Mm, yeah, I think it's pretty okay. And then do I still want to plug that, that video in here? Maybe, maybe. Let's copy this link and see if we can include a video. From another site. I think it should be some cross, cross origin issues, but who knows?
actually loads it. How peculiar. Let's roll with that. Um, oh, okay, so the video is actually disabled on mobile, which to take a cheeky little um, tangent here is something I think I want to change anyway quickly to that site, to my portfolio site, because I mean, how big is that anyway? Media. Oh, uh, yeah, it does actually get loaded. Uh, media. Since when you don't see the download size of videos. Can I filter by MP4? Really? Now I'm puzzled. Other? Okay. I could go look at the, the physical site size. But anyway. Um, Let's just super quickly run that site. Well, let's check if we have all the latest updates and then run that project and uh, remove this. Let's see. I never saved that file. Let's save it. I just want to make sure that it scales. I don't think it does here because it has a min width of max width. You know, yeah, 100%. I kind of want it to scale like so, that's fine. It's mobile devices. So instead of with hmm, instead of with um, auto, it's gonna be with 100%. I'm not sure if we need these like min widths and whatnot. But also don't feel like focusing on that way too much right now. And so this looks like roughly what we want to have, which now scales the, the image. Oh. We can just publish this change. We can also grab our video styles. Mm. 
Let's push that. The video styles. Not sure if we need all of them as such, but let's have a look. So um the reason is because here we have a container which display grid padding so that's centered dev um, what estimates it's is it the paragraphs max with 70 characters With 70 characters. Actually, 70 characters. These are actually the same. But it's because I don't have the margin um, auto, I think. Hmm. Actually, the paragraphs have it. So it's not that. Maybe the video. Maybe I need the video wrapper, because the video needs to have a wrapper. I think. And even though it doesn't do anything special, silly as it is, might be that the wrapper needs to be max with 70 characters. I justify self center. No, oh, that doesn't look like what should be breaking the issue. Okay. 
All right, we can work with that. Um, margin top, actually. I don't want bottom though. Let's see, how is the shorthand for that? Margin, let's expand. Top, right, bottom, left. So, bottom we don't want. Top, bottom we don't want. Oh, you cannot turn it like so. Perfect. Is two enough? Yeah, it's enough. Two RAM auto zero. I have a feeling maybe maybe here um, we need also like some more like clear mission statements but that's maybe gonna come also a bit later I'm gonna leave it. I think it's that's getting is kind of fine. Um, that image could technically also be a link to uh, Twitter. It's very easy to do anyway. Linking to that, um, I wonder if I want to. Link to the story or to the site. I'm gonna leave the story. But then also what we need to do is we need another link here. Uh, so maintain a blog. So this will have to be a link probably.
gonna take a little note. I'm gonna take that to um, add um, add FPV tips link to blog top nav for discoverability. Needs to be done. I think that that's kind of fine for that section. Could have background, but we're also gonna skip on that. That's more than fine now. And then this should be just a bit bolder statement. So um, H3 is probably fine. But like that's not gonna work. It could easily be an H2 because again, a bit just bolder, nicer. Um, this sort of section is full of weirdnesses, which are gonna be resolved later on, if ever. But either way, this should have a proper padding. And let's stop. Oi. I think, <clears throat> and that's officially all the content for the front page for now. The last little bit remaining before actually launching this is to populate some more information about those uh, random a few few spots that we already have so I have a few more spots and then for each spot um, label description features sure whether you can always get from here actually this needs to see some work because it's not been touched at all and then some photos for different spots, at least for the ones that have photos and videos. Then the other features are already somewhat in place, and then some are completely like not there, work in pro progress. But the next thing that is gonna come out is gonna be getting started page.
Where is that SVG uh, background? It doesn't render after you navigate. It's probably because it's inlined. Um, I'm gonna clean them up and move it to static. Actually, was this also missing? No, only this one is missing. Because the way we link to the top one is by name, I think. Um, no, we're actually intersection, we're actually inlining it, so that's the one that loads. So we need to inline the background image for the other section, which could be tricky. Shooting squares is something we don't really use. Alternating arrowhead, however, we do use. that um Let's see. Mm. The other challenge is how are we going to assign that? Because these guys are alternating arrowhead. Let's see which page sections we're talking about. These two. I think I'm gonna leave it as it is for the time being. There is a pick all that you come back and it's already missing. There are for sure um, some remaining things that needs to be. Uh, fixed in the results, but for the better part. For the better part, somewhat it. Hmm. Interesting. How can I inline this SVG? I, I guess I can. Um, 
in here I just don't want to do it I could put it on base 64 SVG string in here and that would actually work immediately here's the background we go away we come back <laughs> now this one has the background and this one doesn't it's a very poor way of dealing with this issue there definitely are better ways to tackle this but now for the sake of moving on and improving in the future I'm just gonna actually inline the image right here Mm. Navigate away, so go somewhere else, then come back and then see that the backgrounds are now loading correctly. And all the content that we worked on today is in place. Cool. I think that's going to wrap it up for today. We can commit the changes have a look uh, at what was done so this section was updated with some negative paddings on the sides so that the backgrounds would be would be full width the home page section so a bunch of a bunch of cleanup since the previous commit and a whole lot of content added the index page was added an intro section at the top with a new background a bio, bio section as well home page bio here and then the message and then this sounds good I wonder if I have any issues in that file I hope not don't like this red guy Normally it's a good indication that something ain't right. These guys are fine. Um, what's, what's that about here? Hmm. It's so funny. Wonder if prettier bra breaks for whatever reason. That seems to be fine. Uh, that's the index page additions. And then this alternating arrow had untracked. We don't need that because nobody is linking to it anymore. Let's make sure, but yeah, nobody is linking to it. And then the other pattern we're deleting, so that's also a required change.
that's been done as well um, yeah I think with that I think uh, we can end the stream here for today it's been a productive stream we updated the content we actually completed the home page so the project is progressing nice see you next time